is the Tuesday before my Thursday surgery. How are you? <laughs> He's got a ball of anxiety. Like, I can no longer discuss the popular sickness because my anxiety is already so high. I don't need anything to push it over. I didn't sleep great last night. Today we are headed in. I have phlebotomy to get my blood type and free anesthesia to make sure, you know, I wake up after. We're out here waiting for the shuttle in front of the hotel. I had my blood drawn and my very, very, very long appointment with pre-anesthesia. They were very nice. They're extremely nice and very thorough. Very, very concerned about the aneurysm. I guess it should go on my radar, something to be concerned about. I don't know. I think I'm going to stick with specialists letting me know if I should worry. Anyway, they want me to drink a poop ton of water between now and be an MPO at midnight tomorrow night. NPO is nothing by mouth, which means no water, no food. Last day before surgery, we had to pack up and get out of the hotel. A whole nine days worth of stuff. I'm gonna head up to NIH. I have my test this morning. How are you? See, stuff, stuff, stuff. I just had my test. It was the kind that makes you cry. And this is my room. I thought I'd show you before we unpack and trash it. <laughs> While it's still nice and pretty. It has been a complete flurry of activity. I have not been able to take a second to record anything or video anything. It has been busy every second since 3 o'clock and it is 6.30 now. So it has been someone in my room every single minute. In fact, they may interrupt and I'll have to get off now. I'm not even gonna remember in order who all has been here. Obviously my nurse uh, admitting they needed my advanced directive and they didn't tell me, so I didn't bring it. So I had to make one up on the spot. They did a blood draw. They s had a special person come in to start my IV. One of the doctors that's gonna operate now on me came in. Uh, I got a phone call from the surgeon who is in charge of my surgery and will be the main person on it. And I had to order my dinner, which is liquids. I don't have to do a bowel prep or a cleanse as people like to call it. So that's good. But I do have to make sure that I'm ready for surgery in the morning. So I will show you my beautiful food I ordered when it gets here. It takes an hour. Jerry has run over to the lodge. They have a lodge for caretakers and it's been raining off and on all day today and everybody's just like, oh, because it's really raining. Not like Seattle rain, like torrential downpour rain. It's just been crazy busy. So, uh, oh, it's a social worker called. So I got to talk shop because uh, I worked with a lot of social workers in my old job, which I can't work anymore. I also got unpacked. They have lots of closet space, way more than a hotel. Really helpful to have a place to put things away. And I got a pillow, which I guess they're in high demand. I can only imagine with COVID how much they're washing pillows and how it's hard to get one. I think you're all caught up. I will see what I can um, fill you in on later. Well, I am on a clear liquid diet. So let's see what I ordered for dinner. Ginger ale, and a grape juice, a strawberry jello, an orange popsicle, a cherry ice, a chicken broth, and a vegetable broth. Exciting fine dining here at NIH. Chicken broth is good. Vegetable broth is okay. I think if they were mixed together, it tastes like a soup and that would be better. I got this cherry thing. I usually don't like cherry flavor. It's real cherry instead of artificial cherry. It's okay. All right, I mixed the soups. Definitely an improvement. Disappointed in the strawberry jello, thought it would be real jello, like made in a cafeteria instead of just a snack pack. And the popsicle is still frozen, which is cool, but not really for me. I know my hair looks ridiculous, but trust me, it's it's just better this way. It's night before surgery, it's a little anxious, stomach's a little off. Jerry is at the lodge, he'll be back in the morning. 
we get up bright and early. I think it's like 6.20. I'm up till midnight. They're gonna hook me up to the IV machine at midnight. Now it's 6.30 and they'll be coming for me in the next 15 minutes. Jerry's here. I got out of my surgery. What time did I get out of surgery, honey? Exactly, I don't know, but you're in recovery at 3. So 2.30ish. And Haku. yeah, Haku. my eye is swollen. So I've been trying to deal with that. I had some nausea after surgery. I'm just real out of it, <laughs> really out of it. My tray is here, but I'm having a hard time because I keep falling asleep. So that's what I'm going to go do. <laughs> Hi guys, still in braids. Nine o'clock at night, the day of surgery. I hurt my eye in surgery. Yeah, it was kidney surgery, but I think maybe my eye got rubbed with a blanket or was open during surgery. And so I haven't been able to do much or post updates because I'm trying to do everything pirate style. It's very tricky. They're putting drops in it, so hopefully it heals up quickly, but it does hurt enough to hurt more than my incision right now. So no texts are going out or anything. I'm gonna rest my eye and probably fall back to sleep. Jerry just went back to the lodge and uh, I got a great nurse tonight, so it's all gonna be good. Can you tell them on medication? Yay. I'm to three ice packs now. It's like I've gained a bunch of weight. It's all the ice packs keep the pain down. Advanced medications given three times a night. Blocks before they do the surgery. All the things. And what makes the biggest difference for me? Ice packs. The stuff they put on your earlobes before they pierce your ears. Oh, my face hurts a little bit. That sounds silly, but I, my surgery ran seven hours and my mouth was open with the intubation tube down it so it hurts now they use carbon dioxide to inflate my stomach and it apparently goes into your skin all over so that's why my face is swollen and when i push on it it kind of pops it's like the world's smallest bubble wrap and when i push on it i can feel it popping Can hear it too. You guys probably can't because there's white noise in the room. But that's super creepy now, isn't it? My right side, not so much. I'm on my left. And I have to be careful. This keeps beeping. I have three IV starts. My original IV here. The second IV they started here, and a third IV here. Also, because my surgery was in Washington, D.C., oh my gosh, the double chin it's giving me. Here we go, no double chin. Because my surgery's in WDC, I'm on East Coast time, so whenever I get woke up and I don't feel good, I call my mom. She's still up. It's only nine to her. I've gotten a lot of really, seriously, I didn't even move it. Didn't, I didn't move it. Waited for my pain medication. Got new ice bags. I'm for my shoulder now. Because if you have kidney surgery, your shoulders hurt. I'm trying to watch TikToks whenever I'm awake. My face is so swollen. My eye is less painful, but I have a little bit of double vision. My, I suspect the white of my eye is swollen. It's pushing my lens. That's why I have double vision. I can't see it though. One, you can see it's like a black eye, right? You see that there's no, this is, this is the bags under my eyes from surgery, and this is the bag under my eye from whatever damage happened. So when it's this way, does it look okay? And this way, it looks like my white is swollen up. 
That's what I suspect. Looks like I was in a fight. I guess I was. Pain's at a solid seven, I'd say. My pain medicine should kick in in the next 10 minutes or so and I should start to feel decent.